Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and today I'm going to be installing a 500 series graphics card into a Hackintosh. Um, in my previous video, I show you how to create a thumb drive with 10.7.2. Um, and if you follow that same video and installation process, um, you will actually end up with 10.7.3 because when you download the uh, Lion from the App Store, the Mac App Store, you'll actually be downloading 10.7.3, the latest version. Um, so that whole process is exactly the same to create a thumb drive for 10.7.3. And so once you have that, along with your DSTT file for your particular motherboard, as well as the latest multi-beast, there's a new version of multi-beast out, um, and Chimera, uh, that will allow the 500 series cards to work. So. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a brief overview of my hardware, but then also do um, uh, the insulation um, all the way up to the point where you get to the multi -B. So I'm going to skip the whole insulation of the operating system um, because in the previous video it's exactly the same. So I'll just start from uh, the multi -beast. All right, so the motherboard I'm using today is a Gigabyte EP45UD3L. It's an old, older motherboard, but uh, the process is still the same, even with the new Socket 1155, 1156 uh, motherboards, Z68 chipsets, all that uh, I've done this on, and the settings are pretty much the same. Uh, the BIO settings are pretty much the same. Check out my other videos if you want to uh, take a look at uh, what BIO settings you have to have and what BIO version. Um, I'm running the F9 uh, BIOS version, and uh, if you need to update yours, I've got videos on that as well. Uh, so there's the graphics card there. That's the uh, GT520 uh, from NVIDIA. And uh, 8 gigs of RAM, uh, standard DVD, hard drive, and... Um, Pretty much um, using the SATA ports there, if you notice, um, just a basic uh, uh, SATA 2 connection um, and not using the uh, G SATA or any SATA 3 uh, connections for now, um, just to get everything installed properly. I don't have any uh, wireless cards in there, no extra sound cards, none of that, just bare minimum is what you want. Um, no external hard drive, nothing USB plugged in, just keyboard, mouse, video, and I'm using uh, the DVI port here. Um, that's pretty much it. Try to keep it as bare and minimum as, as possible um, just to get things uh, going and installed. So I'm going to go ahead and now install 10.7.3 and uh, go to the uh, multi B settings. Alright, so I have my thumb drive plugged in here and uh, brought it up. I booted in with the, with the thumb drive. And so I'm going to go ahead and copy the latest version of MultiBeast, which is 4.3.1, and my DSDT file. Then I can go ahead and close that. And now I'm going to start up uh, MultiBeast and click on Continue, 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 and Agree. All right, so uh, the settings I use, uh, usually go for is uh, user DSDT because we have the DSDT file on the desktop here. System utilities, you can check that. And then we're going to expand drivers and bootloaders and go to text, audio, and, uh, and enablers. And for the audio, I've always gone with these two here, the uh, ALC8 HDA and the Apple HDA rollback. Those have been working for me just fine. Uh, for the disk, I just go with the uh, storage block uh, injector. And then for the graphics here, you'll see that there's a new NVIDIA uh, 500 series support. And we'll do the 10.7.2 and 10.7.3 combo uh, OpenCL enabler. And then network is going to be uh, Realtek Gigabit. Bootloaders, um, that's already going to be installed automatically, but you can check it if you want. And then boot options, you can leave that alone. System definitions, you go to Mac Pro, Mac 3, 1, and continue. Then install. And that's pretty much it. Um, let this go through, and uh, optionally, you could also install 
the CUDA drivers for Mac. So just uh, Google that, download it, the latest version, and that enables uh, CUDA uh, to work on your graphics card. And that's pretty much it for 10.7.3 and getting your 500 series card to work. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.